hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is buns and i just want to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing i was truly not expecting to get that much traction on one of my first uploads but you guys showed up and you showed out and i appreciate you guys so much i have seen so much love from new viewers my followers from TikTok, other, you know, Sims 4 content creators, my mutuals, like, you guys have supported me a lot, and I cannot be any more thankful. So thank you guys so much, again, for all the support that you've given me. Um, I just wanted to go over a few changes since the last episode. I went ahead and enabled Woohoo back into my game before I had it turned off, so the only type of hunching they could do was getting wicked. Like, the only time they could really do it is if I could, I could see it, but that's neither here nor there. I put that back in my game because I just didn't want to have to cut that out, you know, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. And then the second change is when I went and slowed down time in my game, it literally messed up the calendar. So we have to restart the fall season, which I am fine with. I was gonna initially let it go into winter, but I did not want it to be winter at their honeymoon location. So we're gonna restart fall, which is fine because now we get more time and it's not really a rush. And I think, actually I don't want to spoil it, so never mind. For today, we're just going to be doing a few things. I'm going to have Aubrey and Isaiah just do their normal normal morning routine that I usually do. But I'm going to have them spend a little extra time together because after Aubrey leaves to go to her hotel later tonight for her bachelorette night out, they're not going to see each other until the wedding tomorrow. So I want them to spend a little bit time together. And then Isaiah is also going to go out to eat with his friends later today. So it's not going to be too much this episode, but we're going to do it in a little bit because the next episode, y'all... It's going to be a wedding and it's probably going to give me a headache. Anyways, as y'all can see, they are hunching, y'all. It is like, I kid you not, maybe like 4 o'clock in the morning and they are literally going at it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they are going ham. They having that pre-wedding woo. <laughs> Y'all think she she gonna get pregnant off this? That would be so crazy. I would not low key because I don't want her to be pregnant at the honeymoon. Oh my god. Oh. How long this take? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is he going back? <gasps> she put him to sleep. Oh my god. Did he really go back to sleep? <gasps> I'm Aubrey. Okay, Aubrey. That's what I'm talking about, girl. That is what I'm talking about. Is she gonna turn around and eat some food? Okay, he got back up, y'all. He got back up. So, I think... I think I'm just gonna have them do their morning routine. I'm gonna have Aubrey go into this room over here. Well, let me turn the lights on. So we ain't got no lights, we can't see nothing. Let's turn on all the lights. She's hungry, oh, she needs to take a shower. Girl, put that food down, you do need to take a shower. Oh, it looks like he about to take a bath. Okay, I'm gonna have her come in here and take a quick shower. Because it looks like, you know, that got them down and dirty, so. I need to take this hair off of her. I think y'all here taking him a nice bubble bath. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm gonna have her come over here and brush her teeth so she can go and do some yoga. Oh yeah, it is five o'clock in the morning, guys. And then I'm gonna have him brush his teeth as well. They are so cute together. <gasps> she broke it! Uh, and he like, girl, did you really just break our sink? And she like, are you gonna fix it? Look at she's probably like, can you fix the sink, babe? Like, please. I broke it. Go repair it. <laughs> he has a neat trait, so he does not like mess at all. I'm gonna have her mop that while he's standing right there. <laughs> Ah. 
I can't believe they're gonna be getting married tomorrow, y'all. That's such a big moment for me right now yeah. because this is literally Gen 4, y'all. Like, I can't believe Isaiah is really gonna get married tomorrow. He's like the firstborn son. Okay, so while she's doing that, while he's doing that, I'm gonna have her come over here and I'm gonna have her change this. Never get in there, change. She's gonna change into her little workout outfit and then we're gonna do some yoga. Let me come out, girl, come out here so that you can see your outfit. It's so dark in this house, but I like it low key. All right, y'all, this is her little outfit. I believe it's by the creator Boshi, Boshiana. I hope I'm not butchering her name. I'll put their their um, information in the description. But girl, no, we're not gonna throw that away right now. We're gonna go work out. Well, not work out, we're gonna do a yoga routine. We're gonna do an energy, cause you need all the energy you can get today, girl. <laughs> Wait, water. she can't get to it? Hold on, let me fix it, y'all. Oh why did isaiah literally come in here and make like seven damn drinks like he cannot be i'm gonna delete this bar because he's gonna be an alcoholic but y'all totally forgot to check on their buffs so he's got a minty fresh buff from brushing his teeth he's got a pleasantly satisfied buff from good woohooing the woohoo was something to remember He's got a kick the coffee habit. He's feeling close because of Aubrey and he is loving the decor. <laughs> Thank you. And then let's check Aubrey's. Aubrey's fascinated by, okay, first of all, girl, stop. She has such a dirty mind. Um, she's got the minty fresh buff. She has, she's feeling great because of her high needs. And she also got a pleasantly satisfied buff from the good boohoo. Okay. I just went ahead and put the yoga mat outside because for some reason it wouldn't let us do it when it was right there i don't know why i feel like she had enough room but yes girl do your yoga routine okay she she has such a good life i'm low-key i'm not jealous but like girl you're living this sun is like blaring in our face hold on Oh, look at Bella. She's coming out here to watch us. Wait, no, you need to call off of work. He needs to call off. Because I don't want him to go into work today. And then it looks like his needs are fine. So I'm going to let him do his own thing. I'm just going to focus on Aubrey right now. And then I think since it's almost 7 o'clock, well, it is 7 o'clock, I think I'm going to have them go to like a cafe and spend some time together and get some coffee and just talk. Okay, let me check on Isaiah. Dipper, dipper. Oh, he's with the cat. Oh, Arfin Wanu. Let's Kuba. play with the laser pointer. Let's play with her. And I think rope -da, rope -da. if we have time <laughs> later today, I think I'm gonna have him try to call Isabel or maybe have her come over real quick right before the wedding because she's not gonna be at the um doing a ceremony because I don't want I don't want her in the background crying and shit. She can go to the reception, that's fine, but she's not going to be at the ceremony. You know, it's already going to be a hot mess as it is. Oh, look at them. It's crazy because he's actually allergic to cats and he's letting her stay. My husband's also allergic to cats and I have a cat. But he loves me enough to let me keep the cat, y'all. That's true love right there. Okay, let me go back and check on Aubrey. Okay. Like, could you imagine you're literally about to get married to a doctor, you don't have a job because he pays for everything, and you're literally sitting up in your high-rise condo in one of the most expensive, well, the expensive part of town, doing yoga. Y'all. Can you? Aubrey's living. Okay, she's living. Oh my god. I wish this, I wish you could, like, move around freely without it, like, doing all the extra stuff. Okay, it looks like she's almost done, so this will be a perfect time to have her go get coffee because she's actually tired. Actually, I'm going to just boost that because I don't want her to be sleepy later. So, <gasps> Isaiah, you're not making a drink. I swear you're not making a drink. Go change your clothes because I don't want you to wear that. Go change your clothes to something else. Let's change this outfit. You're going to wear that. You're going to wear that to coffee. Have him change okay he looks good is there any chores we need to do did i ever take those clothes out the washer oh i never even washed them <laughs> oh.
to see how much attention I pay to. Okay, Aubrey's done. <gasps> it's raining. Oh, I hope that fixes later. All right, guys. It is so dark in here, but I'm sorry. I really like my game to be a little dark. Anyways, this is Arby's outfit. She's got some leggings. She's got these Uggs by Madeline. They ate with this. Okay, they ate with these shoes. Look at the detail. And it's Max's match. Come on now. She's got like a little, little shirt on and she's got her little purse. So we're about to get ready to go. What's Isaiah trying to do? Oh, he's trying to throw something away. So I will meet you guys at the cafe. All right, guys, we are at Cafe Nola. I will put the career for this build down in the description below. But I'm just going to have them get some coffee and talk because, y'all, they're not going to see each other in a few hours. Like, after he gets back from, like, lunch, she's going to head straight to the hotel. So it's like, this is kind of like their last little morning together until tomorrow. And he's not going to see her again until she walks down the aisle. <laughs> Why is this such a moment for me? I don't know why, but it is. All right, so I'm going to have her. She's hungry, so I'm going to order her from here. Let's order a croissant. And then I'm going to... I don't want him to get any ca um caffeine. Which I probably shouldn't have took him to a coffee shop. But he's going to get a scone. Okay, so I couldn't have them sit upstairs for some reason. Sorry, guys. There was a plane literally flying above my house and it was loud as hell but just in case i had to cut the first part out um isaiah is talking to his dad rashad and the reason i'm letting him talk to him now is because rashad is getting old and i want to make sure he's talking to his parents as much as possible because you know he he has to get those those precious moments in y'all we do not want to miss out on those so i'm gonna have aubrey just wait for him to get off the phone and then i'm gonna have them talk this camera is jumping y'all yeah. new park <laughs> he probably is talking about nothing like a little old man. Old people really don't be like talking about nothing. Maybe she could talk to her pa her grandparents. Let's have her call her her grandma. Like, you know what? Sure, I'll talk to mine too. Oh, now he's off the phone. Okay, let me check his books. He has, uh, he's very playful because he was playing with Bella earlier. He's feeling clothes. He likes the environment. He, the, oh, he really liked the scone. And he's surrounded by friends because he's loyal. That's so sweet. Oh. Let me check on Aubrey. You need the potato. Girl, you're not ordering no damn drink. And you need to sit back down because you're definitely not about to get no coffee. We're just gonna come over here and just talk to her. I can't. I really want them to do like some romantic interactions. Let's. Let's offer her a massage. No, where's she going? Get back over here. They keep trying to. They keep trying to order coffee, and it's like you just had something. You literally just had something. This is gonna be like your last little moments before it's time to go. Okay. I know people don't like when you pause a lot, but like, y'all, if you don't pause, your sims are going to get up and start doing stuff. Oh, wait, they can't do it right here. Oh, that sucks. That's so weird, though. <laughs> Man, she's just giving her a massage. I wish it wasn't raining so they could sit outside. Okay. Maybe. Let me let me pause, y'all. Let me pause. I need to pause. Compliment his manners. Oh, that's so sweet. Let's compliment his manners. <laughs> I'm gonna go to mega interactions and we're going to just say something romantic let's go to let's show our appreciation for him <laughs> wait 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 let me read this you have such impeccable manners it's refreshing to see thank you i believe that manners are a way to show respect for others and make the world a... okay isaiah he are you perfect or not like <laughs> Let me read that. I just wanted to let I just wanted to take a moment to let you know how much I appreciate you and everything you do for me. You always know how to make me feel special. Stop. What kind of oh they got a sentiment. Let me see. 
closer from happy memories oh and y'all i totally forgot to brief you guys but aubrey ended up also getting the want to get married to isaiah so they both have the want to get to one um they both have the want to get married to each other i think that's so cute because it's like the feeling is definitely mutual but what to say heartfelt emotions from being appreciated by partner there's nothing like feeling appreciated by the people closest to us and then what does she get euphoric feeling that sim is smitten with their partner and wants them to know they are appreciated stop stop give her a kiss right now <laughs> they're so cute okay get out of here mcc i know that there's something broken i don't need you to tell me for the fifth million time oh my god they keep trying to order coffee like girl relax she wants to meet someone new okay Let's have her meet someone new. Let's have her meet. Mm, let's have her meet Francesca. Okay. If y'all hear a dog barking in the background, I'm so sorry. My neighbor's dogs are so noisy. You guys are gonna talk from over there? So so. <laughs> y'all, this could not be happening again. There's no way. There's no fuck. Look how she's looking at her. She's like, you fucking bitch. I don't fucking like you. Aubrey. Aubrey. You are not winning. What if Aubrey really is pretentious and annoying? And maybe I'm just like being blind to it. Oh my, oh my God. Let me see. What does Aubrey think about her though? She thinks she's responsible and then she thinks she's pretentious. Okay. We're going to go ahead and leave the coffee shop. I'm going to meet you guys back at the condo. <laughs> It's not working. It's not working. Aubrey literally cannot win in these situations. But I'll see you guys back at the condo. Oh, All right, guys. We are now back at the condo. Aubrey is just taking a nap. And Isaiah's getting ready to leave to go out to lunch with his friends. But we're just going to check on Bella because I think something's wrong with her. Um, If they're going to get off the stairs. And it's, oh, it's because it's thundering outside. Oh, poor Bella. Well, let's call over Bella right there. Let's have her come over here. Let's just come for her. It's actually like scared because it's thundering. Let's give her a hug. Yeah, y'all. I think she's scared because it's thundering outside. So we're just going to give her a hug real quick. If she's going to come here. <laughs> she's so cute, though. Girl, come here so I can give you a hug. If you keep acting like this, I'm not going to come for you. I got places to be. Bella. Come here so I can give you a hug. Okay. Well, no hug for Bella. Okay, never mind, y'all. We're going to give her a little pet. It's okay, Bella. Don't worry. It's just a little thunder. She is so cute look how cute she is <laughs> she's so cute with her blue eyes all right guys i'm gonna meet you guys at the restaurant all right guys we are now at hooters and i know y'all probably thinking why are they at hooters eating lunch i don't know i just feel like this is where men will eat their food anyways this lot is by the same person who made the target sim cues and i will have their details listed in the description below so i've already had isaiah go ahead and get their table ready so i'm going to introduce you guys to everybody here i'm going to tell you right now this is baby josiah that is <laughs> that is like oh my god yeah i just love him so much all right so this is bryce shapiro this is one of isaiah's close friends and a groomsman he is a music producer and remember how last episode when i talked when i showed you guys desiree and i said she was talking to one of his friends this was the friend y'all i did not originally make this sim and i'll put the creator of this this sim down in the description below but i gave him like my aesthetic versus max's match makeover and he looks good okay he looks good desiree girl you got it the only thing about him is he is non-committal so i don't imagine him settling down anytime soon 
This is Takumi Ohara. He is originally from Mount Komorebi, but he moved out to Samashuno a few months ago, and Isaiah him just pretty much became pretty close after they met one day. He's also one of Isaiah's groomsmen, and I believe he is a photographer. And I want to say that he's dating one of Aubrey's friends. I, I hooked everybody up. I was playing matchmaker. I want to say he's dating Erica, and I believe she did say she found a ring in his bag. I don't know if he proposed to her or not, y'all, so we'll see. I'll have to check up on that later. This is Andre Banks. I know he's not getting no justice with his angle, but Josiah is doing, like, this little cute wave, and that's going to be his introduction little look, so bear with me. But this is Andre Banks. He is an engineer, and he's also one of Isaiah's close friends and groomsmen. Now, I said on Twitter, if you don't follow me, you should follow me. But I said on Twitter there was some tea about one of his friends, Andre. So Andre is bisexual, but there's nothing wrong with that. Is but he has a thing for <laughs> He has a thing for Isaiah and it's just like, sweetheart, you literally cannot have him. Like you cannot have him. And I don't even think Isaiah has any inkling that Andre is like secretly into him. But yeah, guys, that's the tea on Andre. <laughs> And this is baby Josiah. He is the youngest brown sibling, the last child. Um, he, I'm not going to get too much into his traits and everything because like I said, we're going to do rotational gameplay. So he's definitely going to get his own episodes. But I know somebody was asking why he didn't come to the housewarming party. And let me just say this. So Josiah in, from Josiah to the twins, there's like a 10 year age gap, I, I would assume or believe. And you guys have to think about it like this. Isaiah is, he's literally a dad. He's getting married, like, literally tomorrow. He's a doctor. His sister is also married. Like, she's got a whole house. She's got a whole, like, you know, and the same thing with Nia. It's like, they're all pretty established, and they're all grown, and they all have had these, like, adult responsibilities. And then Josiah is, like, a 20-year-old who's a sophomore in college. I don't think he'd want to hang out with them and talk about what. You know, I just feel like he doesn't really have that much in common with them. But don't get me wrong, like, he's close with his siblings, but if he had a choice of staying in his dorms and like spending his little Sunday night playing video games with his friends and stuff versus going to a housewarming party and talking about I don't know paying taxes with his, his um older siblings he's just not gonna do that but yes guys this is Josiah and I just love him so much so I'm actually gonna have no, them no, no, all order food so, this goose. <laughs> okay so Josiah is technically, I don't really think he'd be 21, so with all these, okay, I'm not going to get him a water. We're going to, we're going to slide him a little beer, y'all. We're going to slide him some beer. Everybody's getting some beer. I, pr I probably shouldn't get Isaiah anything because y'all know he's a little alcoholic in the making, but I think I'm going to get the hamburger sliders for Takumi and Bryce. I'm going to do the haddock sandwich for Andre, and then... Josiah's gonna get a hamburger, and I think I'm gonna get the fried chicken sliders for Isaiah. So the bill's at $110. That's a lot of money, but it's okay. It's his treat. You know, these are his friends. It's not like he can't afford it. So. I know it looks like they only have $3,000, y'all, but they have an entire savings and checkings account, and I'm pretty sure there's like $80,000 in there. Oh. Look at them all. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna talk to he's gonna talk to uh Josiah. Let's ask Josiah just how everything's going. Like how school talks. Let's just ask him. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Who is over here tent around us? Like. I don't want him to be a part of the conversation. Where is he at? Because it keeps saying that the one of the waiters or something is tense. Look at the Price family. <laughs> She's at Hooters. I could have sworn they brought their son, so I don't know where their son is. Oh, he's right here there, y'all. Like, why do y'all have his baby here at Hooters? And y'all not even sitting at a table. Y'all are at the bar. That poor child. <laughs> he's like how's how's classes and everything he's like yeah they're going pretty good typical he's gonna get on his phone Ooh, let's ask let's ask bryce about let's ask bryce about desiree y'all 
Let's do gossip. Other sins. Let's ask about another sin. Does he even know Desiree? I'm pretty sure she does. No, he can't ask about her because he hasn't been. Oh, oh my god, I didn't introduce him to Desiree. That's messed up. <gasps> Y'all, so I completely forgot to bring this up. So Kalani, right? <laughs> Kalani actually hooked up with Josiah. I know you're like, how did that even happen? I was playing with Josiah one night and he, Kalani showed up to this club and they left the club together. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But neither Aubrey or Isaiah even knows. So Kalani's a little messy for that. She's a little messy for that, low key. But I don't think we can ask about Desiree. No, we can't. All right, never mind. I guess we'll have to ask Desiree tonight. Where with Aubrey? Let's see. Grunchalo, sleep charso de noy, lar, flagisi. Duped on a changle. Look at his little brother. He's so cute. Oh, why you gotta put thumbs down? Okay, let's check up on Andre too. Um, let's have a deep conversation. It's technically supposed to be at work, but he goes Chapter King, mal. This seems so manly. I'm not a man, but this seems so manly to me. Isaiah's blah, 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 Look how he's blah, looking blah. at him. Oh, my belt. God. Ah. That's so looking kind of funny. Uh, is the TV on right here? What the hell is on TV? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn this uh, one, too. Uh, uh, look, he's watching TV. What are they about to go do? Oh, they're going to play ping pong. He like, why the hell is she sitting over? Don't just mind your business. <laughs> Bryce is so fine, y'all. He's so fine. Let me see what they're doing over here. Oh wait, our food's here, y'all. Oh. Our food's here. Okay. Let's have him come sit back down. And let's go have Bryce come sit back down so they can eat their food. Oh my gosh, y'all. This just seems so manly. I'm not a man, but I don't know. I feel really masculine doing this right now. Like, I feel like I'm one of the bros. Like, this is my seat. This is our seat right here, guys. Oh, that's fucking ugly hooters, girl. Oh. I keep saying, oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Pepso. He's joking about old times with him. It was not that funny. I don't feel like it was that funny. Look at Josiah. He didn't even laugh. He's, I feel like Isaiah is so corny, y'all. Like, he looks good. Emery, you cannot be serious. No. Like, no. We met you one time. Why would we want to be best friends with you? Go away. That is so creepy. Admire courage. No. Go away. <laughs> Let me see. I think they got some. I think they got bad sentiments with each other. Isaiah has a personal rift. Isaiah is a people person, so the decline of his friendship with Emery is especially painful, and he's got a dejected, dejected about rejection. Okay, well we barely know you, Emery. Like, why the hell would we want to be best friends with you? Like, be serious. I kind of want to see. I wish we could like ask them about like girls and stuff. Like, wait, let me use my mega interactions. Let me use my mega inter friendly. Okay, chat. Ooh, okay, y'all. We're gonna ask him how his love life has been. Like, you know, are you talking to any girls? Are there any girls? Are there any boys? What's going on? Karina. <laughs> That's it. Yazub. <laughs> Did we get a buff or anything? I thought he was gonna respond. Wait. Oh, she gave. I didn't know that she. Aubrey told him that she appreciated him early. That is so cute. I did not know she did that. I could have sworn that there were gonna be a response. Like we get like a little chat up here. Okay. 
Um, let's talk about family. Yes. And then I want to ask Bryce Brisbane. the same thing. Wow. I know it's going to tell us if he's talking yeah. exactly yeah. to Desiree, but I wonder if it's going to tell her if it's a single or not. Like, you know. I heard you were talking to Desiree. You know, technically, AJ doesn't know her, but we're going to pretend. It's getting kind of late, y'all, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the, the lunch. My game's lagging. <laughs> Not them busting out dancing. Okay. My sins be giving straight footwork. Go talk to me. Go on, Joe. Let's go ahead and end the meal and give our brother a hug. We have to go back so Aubrey can get ready to go to the hotel. And of course, he's he's drunk, y'all. He's drunk. Oh my god. I did not think he was going to get drunk off of one single beer. <laughs> so cute. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys back at the condo so we can go ahead and switch over to Aubrey. Alright guys, we're back at the condo. As you can see, Aubrey, she is ready to go, y'all. She looks so good. One of my mutuals posted a lookbook with this entire fit on and I was like, yeah girl, I'm still in it, down to a T. Like, she's eating. She's eating in this, y'all. Like, she looks so good. But I'm going to have her close her suitcase, and then we're going to get ready to go. But I kind of want them to woohoo again. Like, just one last time, because Isaiah is technically drunk right now. And look, he's got a feeling, a feeling a special connection with somebody buff. He's feeling flirty a little bit. And so is she. Well, she's feeling romantic. And why not okay why not why not have them woohoo one last time so i'm gonna have him literally come over and kiss her and then have them literally roll around one more time and then we're gonna go y'all so let's do a passionate kiss when she's done with that because then we're gonna see each other again Rah. <laughs> they're so cute she's definitely gonna get pregnant soon like Look at her. She's like, oh my gosh. And let's embrace her. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have them boo again. Girl, get in there right now. What it kind of glitches at, y'all? <laughs> They're so cute. He's got me to miss you. She's like, it's our big day tomorrow. <laughs> y'all, I'm so converted for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's realistic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I am so sick for this, but like, was that his foot? Oh, oh, he there must be feeling extra freaky because he's drunk, y'all. They done grabbed a pillow, his foot was up there. I feel like she's definitely gonna be pregnant. I don't care. I'm not testing until after the wedding. I'm not taking a pregnancy test until after the wedding, y'all. I don't care. <laughs> His foot being up there is killing me. Oh my gosh. Y'all some freaks. Oh. Oh. It's taking a while, y'all. We gotta go back to the... We gotta go now. All right, get up. I think he's tired, so I'm just going to have him give her one last hug, and then we'll give her a kiss, and then we're going to leave, y'all. Okay, let's kiss her cheek, and then let him have him go to sleep, because we got to go. Okay, because we do not want to be late for check-in. Jar. Aww. All right, guys, I'm going to get Aubrey ready, and then yes, I'll see you guys at the hotel. All right, guys, we are now at the Marion Uptown San Manchino. I did give this lot a makeover from what it originally was, but I will put the original creator um, download link in the description below. I'll have to get in contact with them to see if they'll be, they'll be okay if I share my version of it, and if they are, I will, because I didn't use that much CC for this build for that purpose alone. 
but I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour and then I'm going to introduce I'm gonna start a gathering with Aubrey and her friends introduce you guys and then we're gonna get right into the night this is the hotel lobby now quick little fun fact I actually downloaded a mod to try to make this lot like extremely functional but when I put it into my game it just was not really working for me and some of the required CC that came with it, it was just throwing off the entire aesthetic for me. So so I'm going to be a little delusional and pretend like this lot is a hotel because I was not going to waste the four or five hours of building just for this lot to not be used in this episode. So, but anyways, this is the lobby. As you can see, there's like a little dolly with some suitcases. But then coming out into here, into these doors, you're met with like the pool area. It's nothing too fancy because I just didn't really plan on them using it just because it is cold and they're literally in a high rise building. So I'm pretty sure they will be like cold as shit trying to swim in that pool. Then coming over into here, you have the second lobby area. To here, you just have the second lobby area. As you can tell, I got tired of decorating, so I didn't put no paintings up or anything, but it still looks fine. You've got like a little bar. Then down in over here, the, you are met with the dining area. I'm just gonna do it like this y'all it's easier but yeah you're met with the dining area i just put like some tables out here and everything then you have like a coffee machine a microwave a little menu and then these are actually functional so i could do in the morning i could do stock with breakfast desserts dinner lunch all of that y'all and then also if i wanted i could also hire like a little chef to come in and make the food as well but I think this might be easier to utilize. Either one, I'll have to see. Then going back out into the lobby, we also have a little sauna. And then right next to it is the little massage therapy room. So you can also have some um, masseuse come in and give your Sam like some massages, which I actually might have her use the morning before the wedding event just to relax her because I feel like that might be nerve wracking. And then right next to it, you just have a suite. And all the suites look a little bit different. I try to do that to try to make it, you know, just a little realistic because, you know, obviously different suites have different price points. And moving upstairs, it also comes with a gym. You just have some treadmills, you know, some little punching bags. And then we have more suites over here, y'all. Um, her friends are going to be staying in this one. Two girls are going to share a room. And then we're also going to use these, these suites over here, y'all. And these are the same exact things and the ones down below also they're exactly the same so they're kind of they have like the same layout i almost forgot but it also comes with like a deck area where you can kind of just like come out here eat your food relax i bet it looks so gorgeous at night though y'all but this is aubrey suite you see she's got her bags here you got like a little king queen bed you got like a little phone her hotel key card then you also have a patio so she can come out here and relax a little bit and then her suite also comes with a little kitchen. So she also has a stove, coffee machine, a fridge, and then she also has a bathroom. All right, guys, this is Erica Cooper. This is one of Aubrey's close friends and one of her bridesmaids. I believe she is a veterinary assistant. And this is the one earlier that I was talking about, I think, might be getting married to talk with me all right guys this is desiree Rowe from the last episode and this is also the one from earlier like i said the one who is talking to bryce i believe and i really appreciate her for sh actually showing up because sometimes shins don't be showing up to the stuff that you invite them to but she kept a word so that's a true friend right there it's carmen delgado she is also another one basically everybody's one of her bridesmaids we're just gonna get that away but this is carmen delgado i believe she is i want to say she's a chef yeah she's a chef and she is like the sweetest little friend ever and she is so tiny and like dainty like it is so adorable like i feel like she's like the smallest one out of all of them this is cara lynn she's actually one of aubrey's friends that she's met out here in san Marino. the two kind of hit it off and she is a model i think she's absolutely gorgeous y'all all right guys this is kalani lane i have no idea why she came up here and started boxing um she's pretty pissed off right now <laughs> i'm not sure about what but she's mad but this is kalani lane she's actually a school teacher y'all and this is the one that I said earlier that like, hooked up with Josiah. And I don't know how I feel about her anymore, guys. I feel like she's acting kind of funny. Like, how are you showing up to Aubrey's bachelorette party pissed off? And then you're going to go upstairs and, like, start boxing? Like, girl, I don't know how I feel about her no more. So I'm actually going to have Aubrey order a bunch of drinks for everyone. Let's see. Order drinks. Order drinks for group. 
I think we're gonna start off the night with um let's get some blue hawaii's y'all wait before i do that y'all i'm actually gonna because we only have four thousand dollars in our um, house for funds right now but i'm gonna have her use her debit card we're gonna use a debit card so i'm gonna put that in use and this actually comes with the smb bank mod by the way guys and like i said earlier y'all they got money okay they have money it just don't look like it but they do so Oh, let me have them. Let me have her order that. <laughs> I do not like when they stand behind the bar. She about to give her a hug. Aww. Let me get this out the way. I guess Carmen went to the the um sauna, y'all. Wait, is everybody? Oh, they're so cute. But how are we going to get some drinks, though? I know she is not girl. Okay, I guess Kalani came back. Where's our drinks? Do I have to reorder them? I don't, I don't know if she made them, y'all. I want my drinks. What did I say I was going to do? The Blue Hawaii's. Give us our drinks. <gasps> is this pedro thank you for checking in today we hope you enjoy your stay we'll charge you 11 a.m for each day that you stay please report to our stats if you <gasps> y'all pedro's here you made a pain let's say hi to pedro y'all let's give him a hug like hey pedro this girl is not making our drinks. Because that's not what I asked for. Let's give Pedro a hug. Like, hey, Pedro, how are you doing? We should totally see if he'll be like the chef at our wedding. Because I still haven't picked anybody. Let's do mega interactions. Let's do friendly compliment. Um, um, I don't want to do that one. Let's do chat. Let's just say how you been. She's starting to piss me off because she's not making our drinks, y'all. Like, how many times I gotta order these drinks, girl? Like, I want my pre-drinks before we go out to the club. Okay, let's just get this one. Maybe she'll make that one. How you been, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? Wait, is that Salem? No, it's Raj. My bad. It's Raj. I don't know how I got those two mixed up. Well, I don't want you in this conversation, Raj. No offense. <gasps> Pedro. Pedro, no. He is so messy for this. He literally knows we're engaged. Let's tell him, in case he forgot, in case he forgot, where is it? Okay, we're definitely not going to do any of this. Um, where is it? Let's do friendly, small talk. Offer massage? Girl, no! Let's think this about our upcoming yes. wedding. Pedro, oh, but I'm not gonna... <laughs> He's flirty. How have you been? I've been doing great. Thanks for asking. Life is good. Well, that's good. These townies, I tell you. Y'all, she's pissing me off. She's not making our drinks. We're not going to get any pre-party pre drinks. Yeah, tell them, like, yeah, our wedding's going pretty good. That is so annoying. Oh, wait, y'all, so we have to get ready. We got to get ready. We got to get ready to go to Club Tropics. Okay, so I'm going to have Aubrey come up here and take a quick shower. And then I'm going to have her get ready. We're going to have her get ready. <gasps> Guys, look. It's um Darling. She looks so good. I cannot lie to you guys. She looks good as hell. Okay, okay now she's going to make our drinks, y'all. Wait, she's making our drinks. Okay. I don't think I'm going to take a quick shower, y'all. 
All right, y'all. I'm going to meet you guys at Club Tropics because now she just now want to give us our drinks. All right, guys. We are now at Club Tropics and Aubrey and her friends are already breaking down, y'all. They are already getting down. They are already dancing. <laughs> Erica looks so good. But y'all, look who's here. Andre's here, y'all. Andre is here. And look at him. He's vibing. <gasps> Nia's here. Oh my god. Let's go say hi to Nia. Let's go say hi to her. Kick out a wedding event. Oh no. Let's do affectional tucker. Oh, let me turn this down. <laughs> Set volume. Okay, let's stop talking. I mean, let's stop um, dancing. I want to go say hi to Nia. She's just standing there. She looks so pretty, though. Let's go to... Ari says, wait, I'm still vibing. <laughs> wait. Okay, I think I have this drink still in her inventory. She's like, hey. She's <laughs> reached the third... Oh my god. Are they gonna have a hug? Okay, they're gonna come up here and hug. I don't care, MCC. Oh, they are so cute. And can we just talk about how good Aubrey looks though? The fit, the sequin dress, the toes. She she just looks good, y'all. <laughs> She's feeling playful. She like, girl, that really wasn't funny. Oh, wait. Aubrey may have been the one getting pranked by Nia, but she totally respects how funny it was, even on the receiving end, a good prank can do wonders to lighten the mood. Sure. <laughs> I think maybe we could say something to Andre. Why is he carrying a book? Let's just go say hi to him. <laughs> Let's do small talk. Ask about day. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot what mod is in my game that causes everybody to carry around these books. If y'all know in the comments, please let me know because I don't know what it is, but it's bothering me. It's giving cult. And then she's going to read the book in here? Like, here, go down here and talk to him. Go here. Like, how you been? Let's do mega interactions. Let's compliment. Say, I like your outfit. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think I might have them go smoke some hookah in a second. No, I can't because if I do, she's going to get high, y'all. Why is everybody carrying around these books? I swear, every time I try to have a moment in my game, something ruins it. Okay. She's taking too long for me. There. Your sense of style is so unique and creative. Wow, thank you. I make a really... I really make an effort to look my best. Y'all, where's everybody getting these books? Oh, hold on. Y'all couldn't figure it out, so I guess people are going to be reading books. But anybody knows what glitch that is or what's the... Wait, why is everybody caring? Y'all, I'm literally about to get irritated. <laughs> just, just keep dancing, girl. Just keep dancing. Imani's here, too? Okay. Let's say hi to Imani, too. I mean, I didn't know everybody... I didn't know the whole family was going to be here. Let's give her a hug since she's here. Like, I guess Imani and Nia came together. That's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, I think I really like that Nia came together. Oh, we got a double hug. I'm glad you don't think my mom's going to get an old. I feel like you just did. Do they got a sentiment? That's so sweet. But Aubrey wants correct. to get a drink, so I'm gonna go to the bar Short real Janelle. quick. How are you? At, how are you at the club reading a book, girl? That don't make no sense. Carmen looks so good, y'all. Like she looks amazing. Like just look at the fit, the colors, the makeup, everything. She looks good. 
things are pow. Okay, it looks like Kara's over here too. She's also getting a drink. I had her order her favorite drink. I want to see what it is. Uh huh. Alright, it's $21. Oh, hey, friend. I need you to go away. It's getting kind of late, so we're going to have to leave soon, though. I think I'll have them leave at 2. Just because I don't want her to stay up too late for her wedding. Yeah, because her wedding is literally technically this Friday. Um. <laughs> Oh no, what's wrong with Kara? Let's ask her if she's okay. Small talk. Is there no option? Well, let's thank her for coming at least. Like, thank you, girl. I really appreciate you coming out for my bachelorette party. <laughs> That's so sweet. And then let's do mega interactions. Let's give her a compliment and tell her that she looks nice. Abshani, Finaru, Haga, Rix. Oh, it's Kalani, y'all. Janga. Oh. So, so, Bartash, so so unique. Wow, well, I really make that. Okay, it's the same thing from earlier. So, it looks like Kalani's gonna come over here, too. Smishy Lafana. I'm gonna have her order well, maybe. Uh -huh. another <laughs> drink. Uh -huh. Let's have her. Oh, yes. ah. Where is it at? Maybe. No, I don't know. <laughs> y'all, where's the action at? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm going to order, I want a pretty drink. I think I want her to do the gentle romance. That seems Love fun. One more round, Sarah, one more round. Oh. I know Isaiah just looking at these transactions girl, like, damn girl. Hello, bro. Hello, bro. <laughs> Hoo -hoo, <harpin. laughs> oh. hmm. Wait. Okay, she, she was, okay, let me take a look at her buffs. Okay, she needs to pee. So I have to take care of that, but it says she's drunk and she's ovulating. Y'all no! Oh my god, that sucks because I think I had the muhu twice earlier and I think it's too late now. I think she just started. Oh well. I I probably sound like I'm going back and forth. I'm like, yeah, I want her to be pregnant. Oh, I don't want her to be pregnant. But like, y'all get what I mean, you know? I do, but I don't. Um, and she's feeling flirty from the drinks and party hardy from attending a batch party. Now that's a batch party. Even a famous composer might be in busy. Oh, that's so cute. She looks so pretty. All her friends look good. I better get my drinks for her. I just want everything. You better make my drink for me. He look kind of good, though. In a nice little rugged way. Okay. He's pulling tricks. He's pulling tricks. <laughs> Are we up though? Let me go check on what they're doing out here. Let me go see. Okay, yeah, just look at everybody's dancing. Look at Desiree. She looks so good. She is having a time of her life. Okay. Sir. Y'all. They are I don't I think it's the mod. I think it's the mod, y'all. I think that's the problem. Let's get I don't know how to say this. Uh, Coquito? Coquito? Let's get that one. Because I think it's the mod that's not working or something. <laughs> but it's crazy because I'm painting. <laughs> Did he just clock out? You know what? I can't fault him. Because I do shit like that too. <laughs> he said, sorry, stink. It's, my t it's time for me to go. Alright, guys. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. And I don't want her to be super tired at her wedding, so I'm going to meet you guys back at the hotel, and then I'm going to end this episode off. Alright guys, we are now back at the hotel. Arby is now getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to send all the other girls to bed as well. But, y'all, I have to show you guys, because as I was doing this, I got the most, what the fuck, these girls are drunk off their asses, notification, y'all. Why the hell... Why is Kara and Desiree hooking up at the hotel, y'all? And if you could tell, she's totally, she's sucking her toes. I, I literally cannot, I'm not unpacking that. I thought Desiree was talking to Bryce. I, I just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was so unexpected, y'all. But I'm going to have her get ready to go to bed and just take care of herself and then we're gonna end this episode off y'all i don't know what to say i truly don't know what to say like they're hooking up 
let me send the rest of the girls to bed as well. Let me send to bed Erica. Let me send to bed Kalani. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. There's just no way. I cannot believe they're hooking up. Send to bed. Um, Kalani, I think Carmen is going to this one. Like, there's no way. So she's going to use the bathroom. Axum! Yeah, I'm going to send Warpa. the girls to bed. I'm going to let those two finish whatever they got going on over there. All right, guys. Ari is now officially in bed. She obviously has to get up pretty early in the morning. So I hope she gets as much rest as she needs. Because the wedding, I believe, starts around 11 or 12. But we have to get to the the event a little bit early so she can obviously get like her hair makeup and stuff done like that i think the episode might be out a little bit early next week just because most of the prep is done for but it really depends on how bad the wedding is going to be weddings in the sims are a hot mess so i don't know y'all it depends how stressed the wedding makes me but if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next week oh my god y'all hear her snoring <laughs> all right bye